section 1.1 after having this brief introduction of all the five segments of this chapter now let's understand section 1.1 digital technology transforming how businesses are done if i'll ask then yes you will be in a position to let me know a lot of things like uh, maybe a decade ago when you were willing to go to a movie then you used to go to the movie that like that's like theater buy a ticket from uh, the theater box office or the window and then you were in a position to see or watch the movie but now what's happening you are in a position to book your tickets through online apps the most popular app for this is book my show even paytm is in a position to help you out in the process of buying a cinema ticket you are in a position to choose a seat for yourself audi for yourself place the order for eatables more so you are in a position to cancel the ticket even i am regular buyer from book my show and recently they have extended another benefit to me that i can cancel six tickets six times rather in a year without any penalty so lot of things have happened why because of what because of digital technology because this digital technology is in a position to help us out so we are in a position to experience this cinema watching in a different fashion altogether you name the area you will be in a position to see how digital technology is being used you want to buy something even if you want to sell something then now you don't need the old raddi wala or the kabadi you are in a position to have olex you can put your stuff there and you will be able to find buyers from railway reservation to hotel booking to flight booking to searching about the various products about the prices comparison of prices comparison of the feature of the products everything is digitized any single person was not in a position to do this much without digital technology so how this digital business is being done it's a social mobile and web focused business everything is coming out of this web world wide web now we have started talking in terms of web 2.0 i request you to read something about web 2.0 and the next during the next class meeting we'll be discussing about it so everything is social mobile and web focused this is the digital business digit i i hope that you will understand that whenever is whenever something is being recorded or converted in terms of zeros and ones then we say it is digital this digital storage processing retrieval technology is being treated as digital technology and this digital technology is enabling us to do lot more next thing is something related to business model what is this business model the very simple explanation which we have is how a business makes money business model you have some idea in your mind and you say that i want to do this i want to teach students of under privileged class i agree you have to do something but from where you will be able to sustain this activity so we need some revenue generation model this revenue generation will happen only if you are in a position to find customer for your activity if your activity is worthy enough for a particular customer and the customer is ready to pay for that then this is revenue model now 
if your revenue is more than the expenditure then obviously you will be able to earn something for you this is business model what does it mean that how business is in a position to make money make money for itself make money so that it may invest for strengthening the organization so the first thing is digital business wherever we are using digital technology digitization is possible then that's being treated as digital business and then the next is business model business model means what when we are in a position to do something to earn a revenue and this revenue is more than the cost more than the amount spent by us then this is business model for where you are going to gain money so what is this digital business model then this digital business model is how a business makes money digitally i am doing something digitally with the help of digits i am in a position to do business with the help of digital technology i am in a position to do business so how this business is going to make money ola they don't own cars uber they don't own cars still they are having a huge fleet of cars or vehicles you are in a position to book a vehicle for you with the help of uber or ola and they are in a position to share this revenue whatever they are collecting from you with the cab owner cab owner may share this with the driver etc etc and in this process uber is also in a position to make some part of money for itself digital business digital business digital money business how business is a, is in a position to make money digitally so this is something french known as digital business model in this era of digital business the really important thing is customer experience what is this customer experience whenever you go to a particular shop online or offline then you expect certain things to be done with you if your expectations are being fulfilled then yeah you are satisfied customer if the organization offline or online is in a position to do something beyond your expectations something which you have not expected but the organization is doing that then it is something known as customer delight so the war ongoing war within the organization is all about attracting customers who is in a position to get more customers more and more customers so if i want to have more and more and more customers loyal customers repeat customers then i need to work on something known as cx which is customer experience what is this customer experience this is about building a digital infrastructure that allows customers to do whatever they want to do whatever they want to do through whatever channel they choose to do it one i will do something so i must be in a position to do that thing two i must be in a position to do on the channel i choose to do my activity say if you want to book a ticket for yourself on prayagraj you want to go from allahabad to delhi you want to catch prayagraj and you want to book a ticket for yourself prayagraj then right now the irctc website is not in a position to give this option to you to select your berth in which coach would you like to sleep and on which berth would you like to sleep they are in a position to give lots of options to you like lower middle upper preference if your preferred berth is not available then still you want to get the ticket booked or not and so on but the tool the channel the website 
is not in a position to allow you to select a berth for yourself although this can be done in the case of flights although this can be done in the case of book my show you can understand if the technology is available for book my show if the technology is being used for booking a flight then why not IRCTC can do it IRCTC can do it but friends there is a challenge technical challenge what is that technical challenge in the case of IRCTC whenever you book a ticket they start booking your ticket to make the load on the train in an optimal manner a person if allowed to select coach and birth may do so as per his or her choice but this may disbalance the load of the entire train so right now that's why IRCTC is not in a position to do so this is something like whatever you want to do about building digital infrastructure that allows customer to do whatever they want to do one the second part of it is that you are in a position to do with the help of whatever channel you have, you have mobile you have a tab you are you are using a laptop you are using a desktop you are using only a simple phone i want to book a ticket for myself by giving a call why not so whatever channel i am comfortable with if is being made available to me to do the business then this will be something leading to better customer experience and everybody is trying to give this better customer experience to their uh, customers for this we need something known as cloud computing i can't own everything if i will establish the servers the cloud servers the hardware and the software and maybe the call center and everything is being owned by me then probably it will be too costly for me to manage the affairs if whatever i wish to use maybe the hardware maybe the platform maybe the operating system maybe the application software maybe the call center is available to me on the basis of usage on the basis of some charge which will be levied on the basis of maybe usage or the time or some revenue sharing then this is friends something known as cloud computing what is this cloud computing that you would hire something you would do something you would use a software let's talk about the software the cost of the software is very huge salesforce.com i am naming a website you may go to this website and see that if you want to manage your sales force where a particular sales man is what is he or she doing how many customers he or she has touched what is the output etc etc so for managing this entire thing we have a beautiful cloud based solution salesforce.com so i am not supposed to establish my cloud server hardware develop the software but somebody else has done it then i'll be using it so this is cloud computing so uh, allow me to read what is this cloud computing this cloud computing is a style of computing in which information technology services are delivered on demand whenever you wish and accessible via internet without being owner of that i don't want to be owner i, I don't want to spend that much still i can use this technology so this is something known as cloud computing 